Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Health. Now, we're here today to look into lamp dimmers. And we see behind the oscilloscope we have a lamp that is actually on its lowest dimming setting. In the foreground the oscilloscope is actually showing the pulses that are going out to the lamp to dim it. Now if we turn the lamp dimmer up, we can actually see that those pulses increase until we get an almost full sine wave. Now the problem is, with pulsing the electricity system, you actually create what's known as harmonics. And harmonics create radio waves. And we're going to pick up the harmonics using a standard AM radio. And set on AM530. And we should be able to hear some radio waves coming off this light bulb. There's no doubt that we've got radio waves coming off this. And that's because of that spiked waveform. That spiked waveform actually causes some pretty noisy waves to get generated. And they're called harmonics, and we have to go into the frequency spectrum to see the harmonics. So I'm going to turn on what's known as the fast Fourier transform function. And we can go into the frequency spectrum. So what we're looking at from left to right is increasing frequency and we're set on 250 hertz per division and primarily in this area what you can see is the repeating 60 hertz fundamental harmonic down here and then the odd harmonics tailing off as we go to the right and they change if we vary the light brightness so you can see the noise is very different depending on what setting we have on the lamp dimmer so let's expand out the waveform to 10 kilohertz per division. So we're on 10 kilohertz per division in the horizontal direction. You can see that we've got a very noisy waveform there. Let's bury the lamp dimmer. We can see that the frequency content changes according to the brightness setting. So let's expand out to 100 kilohertz per division. So we're now on a 100 kilohertz per division. And you can see that we've still got some very interesting frequencies. And again, they vary with the brightness of the lamp. And we see it come up as the background noise levels rising. So that's the radio waves that we can hear. So let's go up to the next setting, which is going to be 1 megahertz per division. And you can see that the noise is still there, but most of the noise is now concentrated over to the left-hand side of the display. That's because the harmonics tail off with increasing frequency. But you can actually see that there's still quite a lot of harmonics present. And they vary with the light bulb. So that's something you've got to be careful of with lamp dimmers is that they actually put harmonics onto the electrical system and harmonics in the electrical engineering field translate to emissions, EMI emissions. So they create electromagnetic interference and you'll get some very strange fields around the equipment and possibly even on your home wiring. That's something to be careful of. and. I currently recommend people not to have lamp dimmers because of this effect. Uh, you don't want your house filled with radio waves for health reasons. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.